Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Power Tools. My name is Chance Brown and I am excited to be here with you on a Monday morning, giving you quick tips that you can put into your business this week. So this week I wanna talk about designations. I had the good fortune of being a, an instructor for the Houston Association of Realtors and also for the Texas Association of Realtors and for the Real Estate Buyers Agent Council, REBAC. Uh, and so I teach a lot of designation courses, a lot of certification courses, and inevitably one of the questions that always comes up is what designations should I get, Chance? And so I wanna hit that from two fronts. The first one is this. If you're getting letters after your name because you think it's going to make your phone ring, you're dead wrong. Stop here, just move on, right? No one has ever called me and said, oh, Chance, I see that you're an ABR. I would certainly like someone who is accredited to be a buyer's representative to represent me as I buy a home. Nope, never, not gonna happen. So skip this if that's your goal. Where the designation comes in handy is when you're already sitting in a buyer consultation, you're meeting with somebody and they're, they're asking the questions like, why should I use you? What makes you special? Well, let me tell you about the ABR. This is the accredited buyer representative. I am one of only 7% of the agents in the United States that has this designation that has taken special education specifically to be able to provide you with an experience that most other agents can't give you. That's powerful. That's going to help you win that business. So that's the first part of talking about designations. The second part of talking about designations and certifications, when I say designations, I mean both, is this. If you're going to go in and you're going to earn a designation or a certification, it should be in something that your client wants, right? Unless you just have this passion for helping seniors and you wanna go get the senior real estate specialist, or you just wanna hit the military veterans and you wanna go get the MRP. If you look at the NAR profile of buyers and sellers, if you go to zillow.com forward slash research, um, here in Texas, we do a similar buyer and seller profile. If you look at the data that are in those reports that are put together for you by your own organizations, you will see what your clients want. And generally speaking, it's they want somebody who's gonna guide them through the process. They want somebody who's gonna get them the best deal. And finally, somebody who's not gonna let them make mistakes, right? And so my advice to you would be, if that's the case, then if it's the ABR that's gonna help you be a better guide for buyers, or the SRS, the Seller Representation Specialist, uh, that's going to help you represent sellers, those are two good ones to get. If they want you to get a good deal, then I would look at one of the, the either the RENE, the Real Estate Negotiation Expert, or the CNE, Certified Negotiation Expert, as one of those negotiating ones. I also believe that the PSA, the Pricing Strategy Advisor, is gold. I think it's the best class that's come out of NAR in a very, very long time, and it's applicable to your business immediately. So that's my, that's my advice to you for designations, ABR, SRS, one of the uh, negotiation designations or certifications, and then the PSA. And I think that you have a really well-rounded number of designations. They're going to help you with buyers and sellers alike. So I hope that helps. Love to hear from you if, if you have any questions. And I will see you next Monday. Hope you have a great week.